Your legs suck, and here's why. <laughs> what a start. All right, for real, we're not gonna be that hostile towards you this early in the day. So we are going to show you how to build your legs properly. So a mix of execution and intensity, something that my partner here, Martin, my training partner that we have showed you guys many, many videos in the past, uh, especially with leg day videos, and we're gonna break it down specifically today for the quads and how we like to set it up so you can maximize your quad growth every session you're in here. So let's get to it. All right, real quick before we get going, I have been using this a lot lately pre-workout, lately, pre um, so I wanted to talk about it real quick. So this is the Mint 45, the company I'm in with right now. It is a Kratom company, um, but, but specific for fitness, you know, weight training, uh, it, whatever journey, your journey might be in the sports realm. So what we like to do is we do, the, I do this pre-workout because it gives you a very, very intense focus feeling. Um, also for me, it feels like I can go further into a workout, so it gives me more more endurance so if you're looking at the focus and endurance side of things especially for a long leg day which I know it will be we like to take this before the workout as well as still your pre-workout so I still have my Thavage here from get raw nutrition and you know probably 200 milligrams of caffeine is probably here is what I ideally thinking for the stem part of it and this is gonna be more of the focus and endurance um, to you know create those long long leg sessions so we're gonna get these down and get at it Exercise one warm up. Um, I'm not, I guess I guess I'm not really progressing here, but what we're using this for is we are trying to just warm up our abductors. Adductors a little bit. The issue is I broke the adductor machine on hamstring day four or five days ago, so it's it's done. Because you're a really good girl. It's I was that was too good of a girl that I busted. So we are doing the bad girls now. We are opening up our hips, just working on our outer hips here. Again, this is just to get some activations of blood in there to get us going into the quads. Next, we will go to a, a leg curl. Um, so like I said, warm up the hips, warm up the hamstrings, and then we start pounding the quads, which is the goal of today. Exercise two. All right, so like I said, we're going to the line, flying leg curl. So it's the prime line leg curl, pin loaded. Um, like I said, this is mainly solely because we want to warm up the hamstrings, make sure those muscles are primed because we are going to be doing a lot of squatting motions today. So do these first, get blood in there, set us up. But we're still going hard. We're going to do two top sets here, trying to be progressed from what we did last week. And then we're going to do a little special third set here that I'm going to talk about when we get there. Come on, motherfucker. Let's go, brother. Marshals. One wants some crap so bad. All right, so like I said, we did the two top sets of the leg curls there, hamstring focused, of course. So now since we weren't able to start the day with adductors, I wanna to touch those two. As you guys have seen, probably it's my age. Yeah, probably my age, but I have to kind of warm up everything. So we got the hips going with the adductors. We got the hamstrings going, and now we need to hit those adductors. 
What a lot of people don't know is that there's different ways to hit your adductors. People only think that you have to do the adductor machine, so it's kind of just ingrained in their head to go in there and do it. Um, but there are other other options. So one way you can do here is if you have a lion leg curl machine, you can specific, specify just your adductors mainly by putting your legs close together. So as you see here, I'm gonna put your toes and their feet tight together, our knees are locked together. And when you're curling up, you'll feel it so much pressure just through your adductors. So that's the inside of your leg. So you're controlling it up and really, really control the eccentric, so the negative down and just keep it in those adductors. So watch how we do this. And by the time we're done here, we're just burning them. So this is another alternative you can use if you don't have an adductor machine or yours is broken like ours. <laughs> I almost, feel, I almost feel more doing that than I do that. <laughs> That's nasty. All right, exercise number three. Now we're getting into the quads. So we're gonna do, warm them up, start them going with some quad extensions here. Prime, of course, the bread and butter pin loaded uh, quad extension machine here. We're gonna work up to two top sets trying to beat last week. Good thing is we kind of did the same rotation last week. So it was, we perfected it last week. Now it's about beating that. So we're trying to beat our best from the previous sessions. And that's how you progress. So let's see what we can get here today. This is very nasty. crew if you remember from back in the day I used to have a little secret sauce of the horse liniment which was something we used on the ranch on our horses and Brett and I used to put it on our knees Brett took on the honors of himself of creating our own but better so this is the perfect thing for leg day get huge ass quads by numbing up the knees and really being able to knock things out here so put a couple squirts of butcher bomb on my knees here while we're getting ready Exercise number four. All right, so we're getting really into the quads here. Um, what we've been doing lately is we've been doing a leg press first. So this is a side backs leg press. Feet are low and centered to really be quad focused. Um, our goal right now is just trying to progress on this week to week. So last week I looked, I did 19 plates total. You can say 10 on one side, nine on the other. Today I wanna to go 20 plates total. So we're trying to beat our numbers, but making sure our execution so our form is perfect, just like you don't wanna ever sacrifice that. So perfect form of progression, and then that leads to bigger and better muscles. So that's where we're at with this. This is, I guess this is one. This is the, a big compound movement today, so leg press, and then we'll do some uh, pendulum squats. But these are gonna be the ones that we're trying to beat our best, and we're gonna leave everything we can in this rack right here. Or this leg press, we'll call it right here. So you guys hear a lot of yelling. Don't be upset. Saw some comments last time that some guy said, he's like, why do you yell like that? You, you scare everybody around you. But uh, that's just what we do and everybody in here right now loves it and we feed off of each other. So it's about finding that right environment and that right atmosphere and letting it loose.
Bro, what were you putting on your knees? That was, you know how, you know how Popeye, when he eats spinach, he becomes a, di a different type of superhero? That's what this is. So this is my, my spinach. The, the butcher bomb is your next spinach. So this is so you don't feel your knees, <laughs> but also heal them at the same time and be able to do PRs. So remember that, spinach. Good throw. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's ripping. Come on. Yep. Ah. Yes, sir. Come on, Brett. Lock in. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Easy. Good, Brett. Work, bro. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Drive. Come on. Yeah. Easy, Brett. Let's go. Yes. You got three. You got three. Yes. Yes. One more. Yeah. that spinach yeah a whole bunch of spinach keep adding it to my plan <laughs> hey I know some y'all are gonna be asking why leg press first why leg press first so we pre-exhaust the quads so we don't have to squat a million pounds okay it's a Dorian Yates technique who's that <laughs> for real he's a shadow come on motherfucker. Let's go. Come deep. Come deep. Here we are. Yep. Ah. Perfect. Let's go. Work, bro. Let's go. Good. Yeah. Big drive. Let's go. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. 
So very, very happy with those two top sets on the leg press, the Cybex here. You know, what started with 10 plates per side, which was a new personal best for me. And then I felt so good on that, I think I got 15. We moved up to 11 plates per side. So like I said, we are rolling, strength is rolling right now. So I'm very, very happy with that. And now we're gonna transition to an intensifier. I really like to do intensifiers on leg presses out of probably any other movements because it's a very controlled motion, right? You can just sit in there. You can take a set five, six, seven minutes if you want. We're probably not gonna do that, but um, what you can do is you can prolong and really go past failure here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna very minimize our stance. So we're gonna go super, super close with our feet, super low. So it's a lot more quad emphasis. We're gonna lighten the load so the weight's gonna be a little bit lighter. And then we're gonna do a time under tension set. What time under tension means is just gonna be a, a slow eccentric, a pause in the hole, and a slow concentric. So three count, three, four count down, two count in the hole, three, four count up. So a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of that time under tension with weight on you. And this is what really tears down the muscles so you can rebuild them and grow. Finish. Finish. One more. Come on, make it hurt, bro. Let's go. We are moving on to some kind of squatting pattern here. So today we're picked the pendulum squat. Who do you say? Who's this one? Paramount? Paramount. Paramount. So this is the Paramount pendulum. Not many people have this one, but it's the same concept of all pendulum squats. Um, very, very quad focused. So again, we are keeping our legs, our feet placement low. So as low as we can without the heels coming up. So as low as you can without the heels coming up is gonna create the great this flexion on your quads. And you want that great stretch to tear down the muscle and so we can rebuild it. So we are gonna go as heavy as we can today on this. Again, we did it once last week. So now we know what it's like and feels like. And now we run it as hard as we can. So let's have some fun. Big drive, big drive. Get off of me. Come on! Yep! Put a couple of 45s on the start. Feel 
Exercise number six, I think. Um, we are moving on to some unilateral work. What that means is one leg at a time. So we're gonna do some single leg hammer strength hip presses. So again, another very quad dominant. This one works a little bit better. It works all the way up to your hip. Um, so you're working here at the top of your quad here a lot. Really focused on the stretch all the way to the top and then just pressing through. On this one, I'm focused more on my outer sweep. Um, so I'm pushing through the outside of my foot, really controlling it back, getting that good stretch right outside the body, and feeling your vastus lateralis, so that's your outer sweep, pressing and moving the weight. So watch how we do this. You want to incorporate at least usually one single leg or single arm if you're doing upper body movement of some sort with every, every training session, um, just to make sure everything's balanced and you're equal when it comes to strength, you know, when it comes to look, because it's all about being symmetrical. So that's what we're focused on here. I got Miss Rachel going through my head right now. It's all I hear all day long. <laughs> all right, exercise number seven, last exercise. We're gonna, we're gonna send it here. All we got left, it's been a great workout. Um, so it's about doing something at the end here that we can control. And honestly, just keep everything absolutely in our quads and just finish them off. Because hey, uh, we're not gonna come back to another six, seven days to train quads again. So we wanna make sure that we're leaving it all in the gym every day. So we're gonna finish with some squats. So we're gonna use this Rogers pendulum. It's called a pendulum squat. 
you'll see it's different than earlier, but that's just the way it's called. Um, but it's just, a, it's just a, a machine that puts you in the squatting motion. We're doing a heel raised. So we're using this ramp to create more quad flexion. So as you'll see, our heels are up on the ramp. So that when we come down, there's more load on our quads. Um, so this is just gonna be about doing three or two or three sets of to failure. Um, and we're gonna pick a weight here and we're just gonna go for it and give everything we got. So that's what, that's what we're all about. Marty's eight, seven and a half weeks out now. And he's smiling, so that's not a good sign. So we gotta make him not smile anymore. Let's do it. All right, that's a wrap on uh, Brett and Marty leg day. So another good one. Like I said, it's really nice to have him down here. Um, you know, easily my best training partner I've ever had, but we just feed off each other. So everything, you know, our, all our top weights are pretty similar. So it's all about just competing. And that's something that both of us has done our whole life is, you know, playing, being college athletes, things like that is we've always loved to compete. So having somebody that has that same mindset and you can train against or with whatever you want to call it. Um, we're working together, but we're also competing and we bring the best out of each other. So this was an awesome session. My legs are bouncing back very quick. Like I said, there's a lot of personal best here today. Um, so we are on a very good trajectory. So it's just about keeping this going. So leading him into his show seven and a half weeks out, but also, you know, setting me up for my shows, which are to be announced sometime this summer, late summer. Um, still getting that figured out as we bounce back here. So everything is going to plan. So we are good there. Um, keep on letting me know what you guys are like in these videos. Like I said, I'm trying to be as most informal as possible with these. You know, I don't want to waste any time. I just want to get to the point. Make sure you guys are learning something. So throw in some comments, you know, what you want to see, some love, and tell people to follow us because um, we're having a blast doing this. So, till next time. Thank you, Marty. You got anything to say real quick? Yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just be watching back and forth. We're going to be throwing stuff up on both of our channels. Yep. So, lock in, tune in, and let us know what you guys want to see. Uh, I know that we're going to be having a lot more content coming. I also have something coming down to do content with Zach. So we got lots of things coming. So like, subscribe, do all the fun YouTube stuff. You know how to do. All right, we're going to go stretch. Yeah, yes, we stretch. See you later.